This is Alcohol Mastery. My name is Kevin O'Hara and welcome to the Thursday Tally number 15. My tip of the week this week is how to stay focused on everything that's going on around you when you've got all this turmoil, especially inside and especially in the first few days of uh, giving up the drink. Um, but for now, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the site. The site was down this week for four or five days, so um, I hope it didn't inconvenience people too much. Uh, it was my own fault. I was just, I got a great deal on hosting and I was transferring all the files um, and databases across and it just took me a hell of a long time to get everything back together and working. Um, so my apologies to anyone who's visited the site and uh, seen nothing there. So that brings me to the ups and downs of the week and uh, definitely on the top of the down list has got to be having my site down. Um, on the top of the up list is losing another couple of pound. I'm basically over halfway towards my goal weight now. Um, and I, I, I really feel good. I mean, I'm feeling better and better as I, as I go along and, uh, it's becoming easier, um, to do things. I don't, you know, I don't think about alcohol as much. Um, I mean, I still do think about it, you know, when it's very difficult to do something for so long and not to to uh to think about it after only uh, um uh three or four months you know but it is getting there so my tip of the week this week is really to stay focused in the here and now in the moment um that's because it's the only place uh where you can change anything it's the only place where all the action happens now i'm not saying don't plan you need to plan for the future you need to figure out in your own head uh, all to do with yourself exactly what you're going to do in the social situations and the different situations that you're going to be in in your own life that where drink is going to be involved you need to do that um, but the problem is that a lot of people focus on uh, the future too much you know they, they focus on the what ifs of the future you know what if this happens or what if that happens and basically that just it stops them from doing anything um, I mean, to me, what ifs are like, uh, I'm a big fan of um, uh, science fiction and I like uh, reading about parallel alternative universes. The parallel universe for me is where somebody makes a decision, say um, you make a decision, you've got two choices and one decision you go down one avenue and the other avenue is splits off into a parallel universe. And, you know, like if you think about it like that, there's going to be uh, every decision that you make and there, every decision that everyone else makes is just an infinite number of these parallel universes that are going on. And it's the same as the what ifs. I mean, how many what ifs, what if this happens and then if that happens, what if that happens? And then if those things happen, oh my God, what if that happens and this happens? And you, people just go and they hit a brick wall and they stop doing it and they say, I can't do it, it's too hard. And it is it becomes too difficult for somebody to do them things we have to keep thinking about what's happening now you have to keep bringing things back to just this present moment to the present moment when uh, things are happening around you bring it into context you have to ask yourself what do i do about what's happening now outside me remember now is the only place that you can actually deal with anything and bringing things back to the present you're going to be making uh, an action or a reaction depending on what's going on inside yourself so you have to stop and ask yourself what are you feeling um what are you saying to yourself what are the voices inside your head saying to you you know uh, what pictures are you seeing um how do you view this in in the context and it's only really when you get down to this uh, context level when you reduce everything to little packages of time that you can actually deal with it and you can deal with them as separate little things instead of trying to see into the future and guess what's going to happen you just take everything as uh, one little package and deal with it and then move on uh, please remember that we're all on the same journey here we're all in the same boat um, we might deal with things differently we might uh, have different physical symptoms or um, psychological symptoms but essentially we're all trying to uh, be alcohol um, and if you take it in small little steps like that in small little packages and deal with those as they come up you'll find it's a lot 
easier than trying to deal with the whole alcohol monster on its own. I mean, if you think to yourself, yeah, alcohol, I'm never going to have a drink again. You know, that's a, it's a hell of a long time uh, forever, you know, and it's, it's a big daunting task and it's, it's too huge for anyone to take on. I mean, that I do think to myself that I'm never going to drink again, but I don't look at it in those terms. I just look at it from day to day to day. I'm not having a drink today and I have no intention of having one tomorrow and onwards and onwards and always like that. Um, and it's the only way to take it. Um, so I really hope that you got something out of this. Uh, that was the Thursday tally number 15. Uh, subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and you can keep up with all the videos and please go over to the website because I can do maybe three four videos a week but they just take a long time to do and it's really all the time that I have um, but I do try and put a post up every day something even if it's only a couple of hundred words and there's links to Twitter and Facebook um, so you can see all those over there so this was the uh, Thursday tally number 15 I'm Kevin O'Hara this is Alcohol Mastery onwards and upwards